Hello, and welcome, to this lesson. In this lesson, we will learn, the location identifiers. In this lesson, we will learn the following terms. The PLMN. Location Area Identifier. Routing Area Identifier. Cell Global Identifier. And Service Area Identifier. First, let's talk about the PLMN. The PLMN, is a unique identifier, for every mobile network in the world. PLMN refers to Public LAN Mobile Network, and it consists of the MCC, and the MNC. The MCC refers to, Mobile Country Code, and it is a unique identifier, given to every country, in the world. While, the MNC refers to, Mobile Network Code, and it is a unique code, given to every network, inside the country. The PLMN is formed of, the combination of the MCC, and the MNC. Now, let's talk about the location area identifier, and the routing area identifier. Every group of sites, are grouped into an area, called, the routing area. And, every group of routing areas, are grouped into a bigger area, called, the location area. Location area identifier, LI, globally identifies, every location area. It consists of, the PLMN, in addition to, the location area code, LAC. LAC uniquely identifies, every location area, inside the network. The routing area identifier, RI, globally identifies every routing area. RI consists of, the LI, in addition to the routing area code, RAC. The RAC uniquely, identifies every routing area, inside the location area. Now, let's talk about, cell identifiers. Every site, is divided into, several cells. The 2G cells, are identified by, the cell global identifier, CGI. While the 3G cells, are identified by, the service area identifier, SAI. The cell global identifier, CGI, consists of, the LI, in addition to the cell identity, CI. While, service area identifier, SAI, consists of the LI, in addition to, the service area code. The service area identifier, may contain more than one cell, and every cell is identified by cell ID. In summary, every mobile operator, is identified, using the PLMN. Inside the mobile operator, we have the location areas, that identified by the location area identifier. Every location area, contains one or more routing areas, which are identified by, routing area identifier. Inside the routing area, we have several sites. Every site is divided into several cells. CGI identifies, the 2G cells. And the SAI, identifies, the 3G cells. Thank you, and see you, in the next lesson.